Did you know that the National Pediatric Blood Pressure Awareness Foundation was founded right here in Ascension Parish? I just learned that myself last week, and we have the founder here on the show for you to meet tonight. Her name is Celeste Goodwin. Wonderful to meet you. Thank Thanks. you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. And I'm always, uh, always interested to hear about charities and what they're doing, mm -hmm. and this was a wonderful new charity to learn about. First of all, tell everyone what is pediatric blood pressure about what is the, the cause and, and why do we need a foundation to support it? Well, the Pediatric Blood Pressure Awareness Foundation is a nonprofit organization that was founded to ensure that all children over the age of three are receiving routine blood pressure screens. Mm. Um, age three is when it's recommended by both the American Heart Association as well as the American Academy of Pediatrics for screenings to begin. Um, this is an issue we have found that is not only a, a state issue, but it's a national issue as well. There wow. are children going undiagnosed in phenomenal numbers. Um, mm -hmm. Recent studies have shown as many as 2 million children in the United States have high blood pressure and don't even realize it. Oh my goodness. So our organization was founded to ensure that we bring awareness um, to, to the issue and to make sure that we're educating parents on knowing that this is something that can affect their children and to know the warning signs and what to look for and, and how we can prevent that. Wow. Did you have a personal connection with something that, that yes. gave you the motivation to start this? I did. This is something that's very personal <clears throat> to me and my family. Um, my eight-year-old son, Matthew, was actually the catalyst for the formation of this organization. Mm. Um, four years ago, we nearly lost him to undiagnosed high blood pressure. Um, and it kind of came about in a, in a different sort of way. He had routine surgery to have um, tubes put in his ears and to have his tonsils and adenoids removed. Mm. And from that, we learned that he had high blood pressure, and it, it appeared at a very emergent situation, and he spent nearly a month fighting for his life. Oh, my goodness. So the last four years have been an educational experience for us, to say the least, um, but a lot of good has come out of that. Um, we feel right. like he is... He's here for a reason, he's here for a purpose, and yeah. if it's to help others, then we're gonna do what we can to ensure that no other child and no other family has to endure that. Absolutely not, and um, it, there, there's a specific group of children that are at risk for hypertension. What group is uh, that? Well, it, really there's no specific target group. Okay. Um, really any child can be in danger of having this. Um, mm. That's why it's encouraged that beginning at age three these screenings are done. It doesn't matter what age, race, gender that you are. Um, oftentimes hypertension in children is called secondary hypertension, which mm. means it's secondary to another more serious underlying condition, conditions that can affect the heart or the kidneys or the adrenal glands, wow. which all of these are very serious. Um, mm. And high blood pressure is called the silent killer for a reason because often there's no signs or symptoms to tell you that something is going on. I was just about to ask you, mm -hmm. what are some of the symptoms? Uh, often, not many, um, wow. until it's at a critical point. Yeah. Um, usually the only way to know that if, the, if a child is suffering with high blood pressure is to have these routine screenings and to have the numbers looked at seriously and have these doctors evaluate the, the, the patients and make sure if there is something going on that it's treated at the very earliest. Right, right, absolutely. And uh, what, what can we do to lower the number of undiagnosed cases? Education, screenings, um, encouraging healthcare facilities to make sure that they are doing these screenings, educating parents on what to look for, ask for the blood pressure readings when they take their children to the doctor. Uh, we have found that there are still just alarming numbers of healthcare facilities that aren't doing these screenings. Um, there are some that do, and to those that do, we say thank you because they are they're giving their patients the best care they possibly can. Right. Um, for those that aren't, we encourage them to make sure that they are incorporating this, and if not, that parents are asking for it. All, all too times, all too often, parents think this is not something that would affect my child, or this is an adult issue, and that's not all, always the case. Right. Now, I'm very proud that this was founded here in Ascension Parish. It's just one more thing um, that makes us, us proud to have you here. But what are we doing in Ascension to, to help this cause? Well, we're very excited. Um, I have been in contact with some of the school nurses from the Ascension Parish schools. Um, they have a phenomenal group of dedicated employees that are working with the students every day. Um, and we're hoping through the school to be able to, uh, the school board to be able to incorporate some of these screenings into schools and right. try to ident identify some of these cases at the very earliest stages. That's wonderful. Um, I can't believe estimated two million children in the United States uh, suffering from undiagnosed hypertension and, and serious um, problems that can, that can uh, come from that. Absolutely. So thank you so much Celeste and, and God bless your little boy and, and what you. a miracle he is to have, have triumphed through that rough time and like you said he really is here for a purpose. He is. He's pretty and it's awesome. a beautiful gift that you can give back and help educate others when you've been through something uh, mm -hmm. traumatic and you've come through it. 
And uh, so thank you so much for taking that negative and turning it into a positive for all of us. We well, appreciate that. And um, and please let us know how we can help. And I believe you have a website. Yes. And, and a phone number as well for people to get more information. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. The website is bloodpressureforkids.org. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you can find information how to contact the organization. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. And 955-2770 uh, um, is the number to call. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Celeste. Thank Please you. keep in touch with me. I will. Let me know if you have any events coming up or whatever we can do to help. We, we would love to help you out. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, folks, bloodpressureforkids.org. And there's a number four in there, correct? Yes. Okay, bloodpressureforkids.org, a great way to find out more information. What a wonderful, a wonderful lady doing wonderful things here in the parish. Um, we have a really great segment for you coming up next. Remember last year, we talked about the history of King Cake. Well, we're in, you're in for a treat. Back by popular demand, we'll be back at Ralph's Market after this.